watching ASFN. Thank you to everybody that subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed yet, we've got over close to 1,700 videos now on our channel. So please subscribe and hit that little bell button to get notified every time we upload a video. ASFN Fishing is all about creating educational and instructional content that will help you get better results and can be applied to most facets of fishing. We do cover the main four facets, shore salt, offshore salt, uh, bass, a carp angling, and going forward we'll add some additional facets. We'll even do a bit of fly fishing in between and maybe some tiger fishing going forward, but we cover it all. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that little notification button. If you like the videos, please like them. It really helps us. So today what, what I'm doing is the next Shad Trace or Taylor as known in Australia as well as Bluefish in America. Now to catch them a very, very effective way and my preferred method, which I use 90% of the time, is called a drift bait. Very similar to using a spoon, just much slower using a whole sardine as bait. All right, so you're still gonna do a, a steel trace. So what we're gonna need, 0.55 Ultra Green Maxima, a little sinker, which I'll screw out to use as a little sliding sinker in front of my trace to add a bit of additional weight for casting purpose. Then the steel trace, so for that, we'll need number seven piano wire from American Fishing Wire and some power swivels. And then a hook of your choice, the ring soy, I use number five, or the chino. This is a 3O or 5O ring soy. 3O, and you can use up to a 5O on that. All right. Then I've also got a little 1O, the good old fashioned Kendall rounds. That's the Mustad 4826TD. And that will be my carrying hook for the sardine or my bait. That will carry it to its mouth, both bottom and upper lip to keep the mouth closed and uh, just hold your bait nicely onto the trace. So let's start the trace. Take the number five piano wire, I'll take some off and I use this little pin uh, just to make the, the little circle I use to keep my trace neat. Because using the haywire twist, you're going to work on both of them being 90 degrees. So in other words, 45, 45, that being the straight line in the middle of them. All right, and that's how I'm going to attach my hooks and my swivels. So let's start with the bottom hook. And this one I'm going to use a ring soy fibre. And this is my main hook. You can use more than one. I'll explain that a bit later. But this is my main hook to actually hook the shad or tailor. I'm just going to cut enough off so I don't, it doesn't hinder me to do the haywire twist. Okay. All right. My tag is a bit long. You can make it shorter. You don't need as much if you want to save a bit on the piano wire. And then I use long nose pliers just to grab that little circle nicely and you start your twist you can do whatever makes you feel comfortable on the shad four or five is more than enough and then you end up taking it in straight so it ends up straight so you can do the the close knit winds just about four three or four of them to neaten off the knot Okay. very simple and then you just form a little bit of a handle there so you can twist it off so there's no tag there it turns it off quite nicely so that's my main hook it's attached all right now guys just for the high wire twist to let you know on the back of the packets of American fishing wire it shows you exactly how to do a hay wire twist all right okay now for the second part I want to measure Let's call this the sardine, where I want my carrying hook. So I want this, if that's a sardine, this hook to sit a bit from the tail. 
This is the thin part from the body and the tail will follow. So I want my hook to sit there and call this the head. So I want the carrying hook to come to about there. So that still leaves my next little place where I will make my knot there. Again, I'll just make my little 45 loop. Nice little neat loop. And then what you do, you take your swivel, power swivel in this case. that in there and then my carrying hook goes together with that this is the hook that will carry the bait that's wrong way around I want it other way around so that when I level it it will carry my sardine and this will sit in the back. This goes through the whole mouth in between the eyes and holds the sardine and that goes in the back and then you, leave, you need much less cotton to actually cotton it up but this also keeps it nice and straight and uh, in line to keep your bait neat and more natural uh, for a shad to, to actually take it. Alright, then what you do again just grab it with the Long nose pliers, I'll twist it four to five times, three, four, and in the first one I go straight, and then nice and tight, finishing off the knot with the tag in. Turn the tag off. And there you have your trace. Okay, now on that to make it, make the final trace, I tie 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters, doesn't really matter, of 0.55. Just use a figure of eight. Take that at 50 to make a knot. Then I slide on the big part first of the sinker. So you want it to be streamlined when you pull this through the water. Now you can add, guys, you can add a bead at the bottom of that because your sinker will hit the knot. So it's advisable to add a bead for that purpose that it doesn't damage your knot in the process of sliding up and down as you cast. So I'm going to just take a little green bead and I'm going to add that before I add the sinker. Now the sinker, as you can see, will hit the bead, not your knot. It puts a bit of a shock between the sinker and your knot, so that your knot doesn't take the hammering of the sinker hitting it the whole time. Then you'll take another power swivel and just finish the whole thing off. So your sinker is limited to where it can slide to. You can do this straight on your leader line. You don't need this, but for having ready-made traces nicely folded in your bag, this is ideal sinker already on. So all you're going to do, you're just going to tie this to your leader line and you A for away. Okay, that's the whole trace, guys. Okay. And how that will work is you'll pretty much hook your sardine on bury this just in front of the tail the thin part of the tail into the thicker part of the body you'll wrap it 
10 or 11 times, not much, just to hold your sardine nicely. And you'll be casting it out like a spoon and slowly just keep the slack up so that your line doesn't go slack. Slowly bring it through. Probably the most effective way of points in deeper water by far. And if you've got a hole of the beach where it's nice deep water and you don't have to cast 100 meters, this works perfectly as well. Even if you do have to cast 100 meters using 11 foot 6 power spindawa, you'll, you'll reach 100 meters with this on uh, 20 pound braid. But guys, also keep in mind in a towel, all these points where the shad come out in the shad run, there's forever tangles, there's a lot of anglers. Um, it becomes a mess. This is the quickest in and out way for you to get if you're there to get your four shad for eating purposes um, or for live bait purposes. It's a quick in and out. You cast, you cast. If it didn't take your sardine off, you don't even have to replace it. If it just took the tail part, you cast it again and on with another one. So it's really the fastest and most effective way to catch shad, especially where there's a few anglers. If there's no anglers on the spot and there's shad around, you can try it. And if the bite's slow, switch to a normal trace with a bung or without a bung, but with a sinker where you can leave it and wait for the shad to bite it. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And guys, remember to subscribe and remember to hit the bell button. And I hope you guys are all coping well with the family in the lockdown. And uh, we're counting those days off. It's getting closer, getting closer. We uh, just missed a bit of a spring tide, but that's okay. We'll have, uh, all of us have got quite a few memories and some things to keep us busy with fishing related. And I'm sure everybody is very excited for that day that we can fish again. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.